So, hey YouTube, welcome back again. So, today will is um, <coughs> Wednesday. So, I will be covering on the Tuesday live stream update. So, actually, um, if being honest, is this is actually the second time I'm recording this because the first time I forgot to record audio. <laughs> so, I needed to do this again, but it's all right. But hopefully, I can post it today. They, it's quite a little late than the normal usual post, but I'll try. Anyway. Put it a promotional, um, promotional, what is it called? Promotional, tra promotional trainer, trade teaser, doctor, oh, <laughs> so we will be actually having a quite good number of reveals, let me get into it directly. So, these are some st stuff they're talking about for from the product announcement. So, this is VBT 12. But there is one thing they revealed that is new compared to the product announcement. Let's get into it. So, it is. So, these are some arts. I hear that some people don't really enjoy this art, but I, to, be, to be honest, in my opinion, I really, really like it. Put here, okay. Okay, so, these are some arts, um, Fenrir, and then a new Astro Poet Grade 3, so it's actually a new card, and Draconic Vanquisher, full pronto, so it is a new form of Draconic Vanquisher, like Draconic Blade Master, so on, I said that in the um, live stream update, like the product update, you can see that in the video last time, so this is um, the reveal, the, this is the basic the update, so this is Battle Cupid No CL, and Draconic Wait, wait, no, no, no. Draconic Descendant. So these cards are gonna get retrained, which is really good because both of these are fan favorites. Daisuke Izuka. I think this was the. I think his name was mentioned before. Let I me mean, check. So yeah, he designed Fenrir, the artist. Wow. Fenrir. Draconic Descendant. Amazing. And OCL. Really good. Funny thing is that Draconic Descendant is coming in Vanguard Zero Japanese in a bit. And Nociel came into the global version just like this month. So it's either coincidental or they plan to reveal this at a good time. So the next thing I wanted to say is that so this is the they will be doing a reprint for this card. So this is the grade three grade three searcher for Narukami, but since um, Narukami got the Great Researcher in VEP12, I think the one with Rev Last Card Revon, Clarence Sword Dragon, and the Draconic Vanquisher um, retrain. So it would be unfair if the Narukami even got two, or even they didn't even get this in the set, it wouldn't make sense, right? So they did a reprint, so they get only four in each case, so it's kind of hard to get, but it is a reprint, so you should have gotten it. <laughs> So they will reveal the new two AS two ASR art. So the first one is Draconic Descendant as the old art style, which is really, really cool. Oh, it's the same artist, cool. Wait, wait. And then Valkyrion. I don't know why they did this because Valkyrion had a high rarity already, and I don't think you really need it. But it's it's not. Uh, it's good also. And also, um, in this set they also reveal over oh, here. Let me show you. So over here, oh wait, 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 not this part, this here. So this text, I think it means a new marker, not a token. So a new token, which is really cool because that means that I don't think it means like the uh, Genesis because it says new. So a new clan will get a new token, which is really good. So uh, let me go to the zero news. So the zero news for the JP, there will be they will be going to Link Joker and Blaster Blade Liberator. Um, Ethics Buster and Chocolate Descendant, like I said, he is coming back. So he's in the Japanese side. If you were playing that, also, this is really good, a good season. Because it's really gonna be fun to use this deck, actually. And this is Genesis. This already has been told in the um, product announcement. So I didn't even realize yesterday it was the 10th anniversary next year. Really, really amazing that Vengar's been for 9 years. Wow. <laughs> and I still have one copies of the sleeve of the one piece of the sleeve of the 5th anniversary. So if you bought the FC, I think, Fighter's Collection. Really neat. So let me go to the card reveals now. 
So this is the first first card reveal. It's called aiming for the stars Artemis. Is the the great zero of the Artemis writing? If you didn't know, Artemis is a writing. So when you write the great one Artemis, which is um, posting of heaven and earth, Artemis is written. You look to top seven for the great two or great three Artemis. I will show you your names later. And then here's a, and then if you don't add, you call. So you call search for a great two or great seven, a great seven, great two or great three on the top seven. If you don't, a, and then add them to your hand. Add one to to your hand. So you cannot get put. So you add only one into hand, and then if you didn't, uh, if you didn't add, you call it to record as a booster, and then you can call that card again. Also, second skill that. So you write the create one. If you didn't write the create one, that is this card. You call it. So it's basically like the Bermuda one. So first skill is this is where posting of heaven and earth, uh, Artemis. So her first skill is that um plus one uh it gains 1k for if you have to create zero in the soul and then the second skill is that continuous is continuous and the second skill is auto so when you create two rights on this basically you write the create two a create two but that is not the create two artemis which is this you check the top five wait i think it's five or not seven oh you check the top seven cards so you check the top seven card for the create two and superior right so it's tries to correct your right chain which is really good because also this only it works in uh, it, this was only in Bermuda's I think for the corals and then this one is the vanguard circle continuous if you have to create one plus one k and then the second skill when this unit attack hits a vanguard on vanguard circle you so charge two but and then if you have to create one artemis which is the uh, posturing posturing of heaven and earth artemis you so charge two cards and also the name is twilight hunter artemis so it's a good writer and then the soul possible soul start score is really really good because also one thing okay before the create three so the thing about the create one item is which is really good is that sometimes if you write the create two you can write a random create two so you can get one more card in the soul which is really good because genesis actually uses a lot of cards in the soul but then also they soul bless a lot but then you think about it they have a right in how do they fix that they will explain how they will fix that in a in a bit so um midnight hunter no battle dd of the night uh, artemis and then her skill is at limit break four when this unit attacks so vanguard i think when this unit attacks a vanguard so bless three you draw two and add one card to your from your hand to the soul and you get this unit gain 5k second skill is that persona bless check the top seven, top five cards of your deck and then add one to your hand and then put the four rest in the bottom third skill is that if it has to create two artemis plus one k so it's 11k base if you have to create two artemis the good thing is that if you see this card directly you can use the limit break skill to add the uh, to get to create two if you didn't write it but that is not only the capability of this card this will will be synergizing with another card with a few more cards they will reveal which is really 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 strong like you shouldn't let your card turn when you fight this so this is another card they will reveal so wait uh, before i could this is oracle queen himeko if you remember this actually got retrained in a v series so that's cool you can you if you guys play genesis and in, in the v series before the astral board and stuff you were you would be playing this or not i don't know i you can you play this or not the another uh, one i don't know so auto on vanguard uh, auto when your vanguard when this unit like when a unit ride is written so basically you ride on top of this unit this is actually um you gain 10,000 power so your vanguard gains 10,000 and just two rear cards and those units get 5k and then and then you gain a skill and then when this unit attacks of it which is when this unit attacks of vanguard so bless three um draw two and then put one card from your hand to your soul and this is a limit break four also and then the second skill is that when this unit attacks you get the soul charge point and plus 1k if you do so let me summarize it first thing this thing if you remember it's called break ride so um break ride what it works is that you usually ride your create tree on a create tree and that create tree has a limit break skill which activates when you actually ride wait wait wait, wait, wait. don't reveal any so 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 um you gain 10,000 power but then there was, there was a peculiar thing because you, if you gain the power it won't really be useful because in vanguard zero power don't really matter as much as in the real game but then now you can also plus 5k to put rear cards and then this basically and then the skill like you you basically duplicate it on the artemis so you, what you want to do is you use this break right with artemis then you use the skill and then you get to draw four and then so so bless four so bless six but then you also put two cards from your hand so you minus two 
So you basically throw two and four, four soul blasts, which is really really good because of how much soul you get also anyways but that is not all of this or uh, not all of the others so this is the uh kushihime i think <laughs> self goddess of self-sacrifice i think wait wait give me a second give me a second so wait they also add something so this is the pg for genesis basically S goddess of self-sacrifice kushinada so her skill she has the basic pg and stuff but then there's this thing which is new so now pg will work differently for jp i think they're gonna do it for global too i think because of how the vp farming then it's a mechanic not a uh, event so what it is what it what it means i translate is that so if you were hit by a two or a more crit usually you would if you were pushed to five or six damage you would pg immediately so there was a problem for limit break because what you can do is against mlp your MLP will swing face and then uh, you can red card swing, red card swing at the intercept, then your Vanguard swing and then your opponent has to PG directly. Which is a bad thing because you can't limit, uh, you need to limit break, for, especially for limit break with the Lion decks. They're in a, in a lot of trouble if they don't get the um, self damagers. And also, like, what they can do is that it is, will repeat each turn. So you keep until they don't have any PGs, then you securely can finish them off. Which was a big problem, but then now you can. What well, they they change it up so like you will if you even get hit by two or more crits, um if you don't reach six damage your PG won't activate so you if you were at four damage you the PG will activate if you get hit by two or more crits but if you for example create your two your two damage and your opponent hits you with three crits and since you're not in six damage if you get hit by the three crits you five damage but the thing about this change is that this is gonna be good for critical triggers actually because now critical triggers have better pressure because like there was a problem where even if you have to take a check crit it's it nullified like there's no um point of doing that because if you were playing the physical game your opponent would be pressured by critical trigger a lot but now that the critical trigger since they change vg there may be more people using critical trigger also which is always kind of good because like critical triggers and stand triggers has been put on the side if i a lot of players like sometimes they get picked up but like not really really, really rare or the tech and spare and draws too much or anyways so they reveal one more genesis card which is the triple rare grade two and they will be reviewing in a bit yep so i don't f know her full name but i know her name his last name is chamomile so her skill is auto when in soul so this is means in soul so her condition is at soul when this unit is uh, when during your turn when this card is put into drop zone so you counter plus one to call this card then plus 3k to until end of turn so this is really really good because like what you can do is that you can synergize this with the grade three with the limit break you can limit break and break right so you break right and then use the limit break so you first swing with the red card because when you break right wait, wait when you break right you give two red cards 5k so do your two front row red cards probably hit anything can hit anything then you use your vanguard to swing at your vanguard the opponent's vanguard then you soul blast three draw one they draw two and add one card from your head so you can also add camo mile if you already have to create two but then also like if you have to create two artemis you can add a camo mile which way let me go to camo mile and then you add to camo mile you soul blast it again with the skill of the other limit break so you use the break right skill then limit break is the same order but like it's because it's the same skill so yeah and then you can counter blast two to call two camo piles possibly you setting up two intercepts and then you swing at their face for 12k with a boost also which is really really good with multiple attacking view content because you can literally did five attacks and the only thing that can do that right now is aqua force i think which is really good <laughs> i'm curious when will people bring up stun trickers because stun trickers have been really not that good but like if hopefully in the future it becomes good because there's no way of you giving crits or a rear card i think there's no card that gives crit to rear cards so this is a new update what i'm talking about is that um another update they do for i think global will also be affecting but for japanese for now they will be have a new setting and that setting allows you to turn on or turn off which is manual or auto soul blasting so you can do selective soul blasting for once really really good because clans like genesis so for obviously and also pale moon had problems like you wouldn't want to soul blast your main cards but you couldn't choose so you have to play around it but it's really really complicated because you have to 
so charge more cards to so blast them because the cards you so charge will go to the bottom and you will re so blast from the most bottom card which is quite complicated and stuff but now since you have selective soul charging and you especially you can also turn it on or turn off depending on what clan you're using which is really really good you also can for example if you even ride camo mile for example and then you ride the crate to ultimate right if you were to soul blast that ah uh, uh, a camo mile is quite complicated that's why now you have selective soul charging which is really really good and will help it completely Finally, they actually add this. Hopefully, they actually add um, con selective counter blast because um, Angel Fighters have also a small problem with that because if you can't counter blast, you you wanna counter blast your PGs that you wanna use no shield. Sorry, um, you wanna use the no counter blast for the PGs. Then you add those counter blasts into your hand so you counter charge too, which is really what you wanna do with when you're playing Angel Fighters with no shield and also how much counter blast they might be using also. But that's it for the Venue Ashiro update, I think. Yep. So these are the Bang Dream sets if you want cards like their deck profiles. I'm not sure. Okay, let me skip through this. So this is the promos they're giving out for the trial decks of VTT 9, uh, VTT 10, 12, 11, and 12. So Prono Chat out my Asha, respectively, from their clans, I think. <laughs> Maybe they even shuffled it because last time if you bought the really old like not the the VTT zero three I think I think I, I have it and I have you get a promo Perithia Legion <laughs> which I was confused because I actually put it in my deck <laughs> so they will reveal be they will be revealing more cards for VPT um O nine which is actually releasing in a week about a week like nine days from now so that's gonna be cool. So this is the first card they revealed. It's called Thin Miss Banshee. Her skill is auto when place to the when place on the rear card circle due to from an effect. You can give her ten thousand power. And then her second skill is that um, when she is retired from the rear card circle, you get to uh, draw one. But you can only use this effect by the same card name until uh, for once a turn. So. You can only use this so it has the restriction like knee main so where you cannot use it more than once this turn which is a little bit confusing because her second skill is eh, and the first skill is good but like it needs to um get super recall but if you remember there's a great one supporting card which i it was revealed from friday but i didn't um do a video on it because there was only two cards revealed so it would be too short and also it was necropone where you can discard a card and call a card from your drop zone this is really, really good because what you can do is that if you join to her, you can also discard her and super call her and plus 10,000 power. Which is really good. Also, like, you don't really minus because you call the card also. <laughs> and then the second skill is that it's a bit confusing, but it will make more sense after the card they will reveal after this, which is the Grand Blue VR. And, like, everyone's fan favorite, which is, like, not everyone, but, like, most people's fan favorite is, which is... Let's see. Go. Vampire Princess of the Night Fog, Night Rose. Everyone really liked this. <laughs> a lot of people liked it. I mean, and then first skill is auto on vanguard. Auto on vanguard. When your you when your rear card attacks or boosts, they gain five k until end of battle. But at the end of battle, you have to retire it. And then second skill is when it attacks, counter plus one. Call, choose a column and you call up to two cards to that from your drop zone to that column. And if you are vanguard, is Creator or if your opponent's man is creative or creator, take this unit gain 10k. Really good for multi attacking pressure for uh, a protect deck. But and then also on top of that, you're playing protect, so like you should really have a huge hand size. Really, really good because um, her se first skill also helps, like you it will make it, it made sense of the create too, where you can retire. Why would you um, you get a plus one if you retire, so like you don't really plus one, but then. With the necro bone and with this card's ability, you can do a lot of things. But if you see Night Rose itself, it's not that good. Like it's it's, it's like good. Uh, it's a fair broken card. Like not. It's a good card, but it's fair. <laughs> but then if you see it with the if it if it's at the correct condition, it's really really good. But um, if it's not at the right condition, uh, I don't think it's it's good. But like it's not gonna do as much because you need this power boost and the power boost don't get me wrong it's not low but like um no crits also <laughs> and you can give 5k by the end of battle you tire it 
I don't understand. One thing is that why didn't they, they show? Oh wait, I think they show create two. Or did they not? I don't think they show to create two. Columbard. Oh, also I have the ten miss bench. Okay, never mind. I know what Columbard skill actually. I think you got super. Uh, throw one on the bench. But not that, not that bench. So you're tired, you can throw one. See? Which is a, also a good thing that uh, the bench also is a 5k intercept, but then you're usually protect one. So, like, um, sacrificing those cards, you can also remove your board to gain power. But then those boards, like, if you're fighting a retiring deck, anyways, like a Blade Master, uh, it's the same thing. So, like, if you were to retire your board from increasing your power, it would be better because. Uh, Usually when you're fighting Plate Master, each turn you you have a full rear card. Oh, wait, what happened to your rear card? I burned it. <laughs> like all your rear cards got controlled and then retired. Which is the... If you're fighting Plate Masters, because it's a really controlled deck. So, that's it for the reviews, I think. It's exciting in 9 more days, it's actually gonna get released. Ooh. <laughs> they actually revealed all the VR now already. I think he's explaining some like more things, but I do not understand what this like, <laughs> what he's speaking. He's speaking Japanese, that's why. So that's pretty much it uh, for the video today. Um, subscribe and like and leave a uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and also uh, you want more videos and leave a like if you really enjoyed this video and comment down below your thoughts on today's uh, um, like update and also like comment down below also like if you were opening the booster what did you get also or what do you think about this <laughs> and then one more thing said if you uh, if you want to get notified when my videos come out um, hit the notification bell and then hit it again and select all and yeah and when you select all you will get notified when my videos come out which is really neat so let's go into the part where he says bye to get it <laughs> I really enjoyed this dude <laughs> He always does this thing with sleeves. <laughs> Which he does it so smooth, it's so cool. Vanguard! <laughs> Bye guys! See ya in the next video. Bye!